Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and a musician of a few years now. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make your bongos sound better. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. I have Logic Pro open here and I have a uh, bongo sample here. So let's take a listen to that first before we add on any effects or anything. Okay, you get, you get the basic idea. So first what I'm gonna do is throw on a channel EQ that I have already open right here. It's just on bypass, so I'm going to unbypass it and take a listen now. Okay, so what I did was raise a little bit of the frequencies in the higher end. Uh, about 5.5 dB, around 7,700 hertz, and I cut off some of the lows um, around 170. There's really not much um, low frequencies in bongos anyway, but I just did it anyway, just to clean it up. But anyway, let's go ahead and close out the, the EQ. And then what I did was some channel compression. Okay, this is my compressor that I have here. So let's take a listen and I'll bypass and unbypass at the same time just so you can hear the difference. Okay, so it just kind of brings it up, up front and a little bit more for, forward with as far as the, the sounds of the dynamics. And I definitely like the compression on a little bit better. And you can change um, your compression settings, but these are the compression settings I have here, the ratio, the knee, um, the attack, and the release. Okay, now I finally added some reverb, and let's, uh, let's open up the reverb here. And again, I will hit bypass and unbypass to hear the difference. Okay, so with the reverb, it doesn't sound so dry and it, it makes it sound like it's in a nice acoustic room. So there you guys go. There's basically a channel EQ, some compression, and a little bit of reverb. So if you do have any other questions about bongos or about anything else, please let us know and thank you for watching.